everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So if you haven't guessed already by the title and the massive balloons sat next to me, <laughs> I was 21 the other day. Um, so I thought I'd come on and show you guys all of the lovely presents I got. Um, I had such a nice day. I was so exhausted from fashion week because I just literally got back the day after. So I wasn't running off much sleep on my actual birthday. Um, so I just had a very chill day. My boyfriend Zach came over. We just had a nice day in Oxford and then we went out for dinner with all my family and it was just so lovely. I got so many amazing presents this year. I was thoroughly, thoroughly spoilt. I'm going to start with my big main present. Um, my parents found it very hard to think of something to get me for my 21st because being a blogger we do get sent a lot of things which is amazing. Um, and so I often find that I don't actually ever need anything. So I love jewellery and especially when it's got a sentimental meaning behind it. So that was my main present this year. We went ring shopping um, and I picked out this gorgeous little vintage ring in here. I'll do a close up because you guys won't be able to see it from here. But it is just the most stunning ring ever. I need to get it resized a little bit because it's a tiny bit too big but it's, as my grandma said, it is a bit blingy blingy but I kind of love a bit of bling and also it's my 21st, I'm only going to be 21 once. So this is just the most amazing, beautiful present I think I could ever have asked for for my 21st and it's going to be cherished forever. So thank you very much mum and dad for my gorgeous, gorgeous ring. I also have a few other presents to show for my parents, but I'm going to go on with my grandma's present next because it follows on very nicely from the first present and it's a little jewellery box. I also requested this. Most of my presents I did know about this year, but there were some nice little surprises in there as well and this is just, isn't this just the most practical jewellery box you've ever seen? It says treasure me on the top in gold and then it's in the most beautiful pink colour. I'm pretty sure this is from John Lewis um, if you guys are interested. And then inside it's got little um, slits that you can put rings and earrings in to keep safe. And then I've got all my like chunky earrings in the pot on the left. And then up in here there's a little like drawstring pouch that you can put your necklaces in. And I'm just so excited about this, especially for when I go travelling or if I'm moving from home to uni all the time and I want to take my jewellery with me but there's not really an easy way of taking them all without them all getting tangled or broken. This is just perfect. Moving back on to presents from my parents, I was given this lovely Kath Kidson makeup bag or toiletry bag. Um, my purse is actually in this like metallic polka dot print and I just love it so much I think it's so cool and um, this is actually the perfect makeup bag it's got two big pouches at the side um, so I put my brushes in the pouches and they fit the height perfectly so they don't get bent over or anything and then all my makeup just fits really well in the bottom you could fit loads of makeup in here actually so it's great I just love this so much and it's not like a heavy bag to start with. I am always an overpacker so if the bag is light then that is a good thing for me because it means I can put more stuff in it. <laughs> also from Kath Kidson um, they gave me this little set of Tupperware. This is like the bamboo Tupperware um, and it's just got little otters on it and it's so cute and it's pink. You can't go wrong getting me something that's pink <laughs> with cute animals on it I mean. <laughs> Whilst we're on the Kath Kidson topic, um, they also kindly gave me a little bowl from Kath Kidson. I already have one of these um, and only have one at uni so I like never want them to run out of it because I use it literally all the time. It's the best shaped bowl for most meals. Um, so now I have a matching one and I'm really happy about this. <laughs> Next up is a book. If you guys know me well enough, you know I hate reading. But when I opened this, I was like, I actually might read this. <laughs> I really enjoy reading about people's lives in the fashion industry or like business women. My favourite book I've ever read is Girl Boss. So this is Grace Coddington's book all about her journey through fashion. So I am actually going to read this, I think. I'm going to try. 
and it's also got quite big print inside it which is also nice and it's got pictures so it's like the best book that I could have asked for. I seem to be really sad this year and have an obsession with Tupperware. Um, <laughs> when me and mum were in TK Maxx the other day I saw these and she was like oh that's your Christmas present sorted and then she gave me some for my birthday so I was very happy. And they are these little pink Tupperware for like storage and look they just stack perfectly um, and then they just pop off the lid obviously this bit comes out um, but yeah they're from my favorite brand as well they're from the brand Brabantia I think that's how you say it but um, if you guys have seen my uni room tour and the big pink gorgeous pink bin in my room is also from this brand so I really love the stuff they do it's always such high quality and just just lovely so I'm really excited about these these are gonna have all of my pastas in <laughs> and the final thing from my parents was this fancy contraption which is a little salad spinner and we've had one of these at home for so long and I just love it so much because it really just works I hate buying packets of lettuce because they go off so quickly um, so if these are good for if you're buying like a whole lettuce and you just chop it up yourself wash it put it in this and then you just spin it and it like wicks all the water off your lettuce and it's just really cool my parents also gave me some candy kitten sweets which are like my favourite sweets ever. Most of them are vegan. In fact, all three of these flavours are vegan. I think they might all be vegan by now. Um, but we have the wild strawberry, um, which tastes like just like strawberry laces. Um, sour watermelon and peach fizz, which I haven't tried yet. I'm so excited to try peach fizz. My other favourite flavour that isn't here is um, the blueberry one. And it's so good. My family looked through all of the old photos and scanned them in and put them on a little uh, memory stick. Um, it says 21 years of Rosie, which is just such a thoughtful gift. I love little gifts like this that someone's really put a load of time and effort into. So this really made my day and I was just sat looking through photos for ages and just memories. And there's some very interesting photos of me on there. If I decide to, I will put some photos up now of what I looked like when I was younger. <laughs> As a bit of a crazy child. <laughs> My brother got me some imperial leather shower gels. These actually smell amazing. There's a pink lychee and raspberry. I just love the smell of lychee stuff. I don't like the taste of lychee, but when it's in like cocktails or products it always smells amazing and then the mermaising Fijian water and lotus flower also smells amazing so these will definitely be coming with me to uni and then he also got me a little chopping board and firstly it's in like my favorite color so he did very well um, but also it's just the perfect size and also look it it goes like this and you can just tip everything into your pot so this is a very useful present, I'm very happy about this. I'm going to take it to uni and then everyone's going to want to use it, but it's mine. <laughs> My auntie got me two continental size pillows, which you can see behind me, there are these bigger ones at the back. Um, I've wanted these for a while, um, just because I think they look really cool when you've got loads of pillows on your bed. So yeah, thank you for those, they look very fancy on my bed. And then she also made me this really gorgeous little lavender bag which smells amazing and then at the back it's got organza fabric so you can see all of the bits of lavender I love the smell of lavender so much so I'm gonna take this to uni with me and hang it somewhere in my room so that's constant nice fresh smell of lavender I also have some bamboo socks that she bought me and um, these are so soft and they have a little R on them they're from the brand powder um, and they also came in this really, really beautiful bag, like, it's so cute. And it's also not a birthday or Christmas without socks, is it? Then finally, moving on to things from my boyfriend, Zach. The first thing that I opened was a packet of Guerlain. Guerlain, I think that's how you say it, never know. <laughs> um, or was it Gillian? 
chocolates. But these are my favourite chocolates ever. Um, my preferred side, my preferred ones are the ones with more white chocolate in, <laughs> which you can probably tell I've been munching at them already. Yeah, he knows me very well because these are my favourite. Mm -hmm. Anything with like a praline taste to it, I am obsessed with. Like, I just love praline so much. And then my main thing from Zach was this amazing faux fur throw, which I'm so excited to put on my bed. I'm taking this to uni because I've got a cat sat next to me right now who would really love to be lying on this and ruining it. <laughs> it's just such an interesting design on it. I really love this. I haven't seen any faux fur rug like this before. And he was so clever. He even matched the colour of underneath to the curtains in my uni room. So it's just so cute and so thoughtful. I love this present so much. I also want to thank the people at Tresemme and Beauty Scene who bought me the biggest bunch of flowers on my birthday. It was just insane. So thank you guys so much for the flowers. They have all been distributed into many of ours. <laughs> so that is it. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me a lovely birthday message. Can you believe it? I am now officially 21, which is just it's a bit scary. I just checked my old videos back to see when the first what I got for my birthday video was, and I was 16 when I filmed it. And I'm now 21, sat here. Oh my god, that's making me a bit emotional. <laughs> Weirdly emotional. I'm just gonna play you a bit of the video and you can just tell the change in my voice already. You ready? Hi everyone, so today I am doing my birthday haul because it was obviously recently my birthday. Now I need to apologise because I know- Oh my god. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I will see you all very soon. Bye!